what's going on savages I just wanted to do a quick video on how to withdraw a beam from the spark pool so let's just go ahead and get after it all right guys what is going on uh, I'm sorry it's so loud in here but I've got every GPU that I have pointed at uh, beam so they're all still running. But real quick, seems to be a lot of confusion over how to get Beam out of the pool and into your wallet. So basically all you have to do is go to uh, Spark Pool, if you're using Spark Pool, and you will change this to Beam, and then enter in your address, which I think mine is already in here. No, it's not. Let me do a refresh here. I might have to wait and go get that. Oh, there it goes. So you change that to Beam. You put your mining address, your receiving address in here, and then click the search button. And then what you'll see, if it is after 11, I believe it's 11 p.m. every day, Eastern Standard Time, then the Beam that were in your balance here should go and, and switch over to matured. You gotta have at least five to even attempt this. Uh, but as long as you're seeing your balance increase, the number, of, the amount of beam you have as you're mining, you should be good to go. Uh, I just posted this a few minutes in, on Twitter. Um, this was the message from the pool whenever I first logged on this morning. Not logged on, whenever I first accessed the pool this morning because you don't have to have an account or anything. Uh, but it says right here, beam bill will be generated at 10 a.m. UTC plus eight, which I think by my calculations, that meant 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, you know, mine is sitting here ready. Now what you want to do is you want to launch your wallet and enter in your password. and let it sink and everything. And then you will go, you can get out, you can move this over or get out of it, not get out of it, you can minimize it. And then you're gonna click withdraw. And then it's gonna ask, hey, you know, are, is your wallet online? Make sure it's online, and it is. I didn't close it, it's still here. And then you just click ensure this wallet is online. And then it says sent. And then you just click OK here, and then we wait. And while we're waiting, I can tell you that you want to make sure that your receiving address is set to never expire. I think that's what some people are doing, is they're creating an address here, a receive ad address here, and um, they're not going into here, or I'm sorry, Whenever you first create it, it'll ask you, uh, you know, when it expires. I think the default is 24 hours. So you have to make sure that you change that for your, the address that you want to use to mine to. You got to change it to never. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to let this rock. It usually takes about five or six minutes. And I will be back. Okay, well, that was super fast. Um, only a couple minutes there, so that's cool. Uh, once you have received it, you can go and look at the transaction here. How many you receive. And then if you go back out to the site, I would assume if you refresh that, that it will go away as far as the amount matured. Okay, so it just says apply here. So that just means it's already done. It just hasn't gotten through the whole uh, verification process, I guess. Uh, so I'm already ready again for 11 p.m. tonight. I would assume I'll be able to withdraw this because it's over five and they do it at 
they generate what do they call it they call it the bill is generated at 11 p.m. so um, so there you go that's pretty much it all there is to it see you guys next time